Hello, uh, so this is Nathaniel. Um, this is an update video. Uh, this, this is going to be talking uh, mostly and a whole lot uh, just about the channel, uh, my plans for the channel going forward, and sort of a small commemorative type thing. Uh, so uh, we've finally hit the 100 subscribers mark. I, I know this is like small fries to like a ton of YouTubers out there, but this, this content is extremely technical. Um, it, it's, it's very hard to get through. I, I sort of understand this. Um, uh, it's meant for a sort of shallow audience, so I definitely do feel uh, that this is a step forward. So 100 subscribers and growing, so that's awesome. Thank you for doing this. Um, I really do rely on you guys, uh, at least sort of the implicit viewing, liking, and commenting signals uh, in order to figure out what I should continue to do and what I should stray away from doing uh, in the future. Um, uh, in addition, I would also rely on you guys to check out this video, uh, let me know what you think of it, and then, and then post uh, some comments below hand if, you, uh, if this sort of makes sense. Um, okay, so there's three things I want to do in this video. I want to talk about sort of the, the past, present, and, and future uh, ghosts of Christmas past, or no. So I, I want to talk about the past, present, and future uh, implications of the channel. So why, why I started the channel in the beginning, uh, what I've done so far, uh, what I'm currently doing now and working on, and then some future plans uh, that are already in the works. Um, okay, so past stuff. Um, uh, so, so I started this channel, this sort of the, the intuition behind this channel was I was leading a team of, of developers um, and they would, they would persistently ask me uh, questions. Um, and these questions, uh, and the, was off-site uh, developers, we, we didn't get a chance to, to work together uh, for long periods of time and, and we were you know, rapidly expanding. Um, and I would get these questions, these very sort of technical questions, and they would be the exact same technical question again and again and again. Um, and I originally made these videos in order to answer those questions. I made like a video in order to say like, hey, you know, how do you do some web development with Meteor? Um, you know, this went further, um, at least to help out some, some people during my data science class. So as you guys know, uh, as you guys and girls know, I, um, I teach data science over at General Assembly. I, I, I do other data science type gigs as well. Um, and to help out with that class in, in order to explain things such that I can you know, repeatedly explain them to, to a large group of people, I, start, I started to make these videos. Um, the, the goal for these videos in the first place was, hey, you know, when, when I start, um, uh, when, I, when I ramp data scientists up and software engineers up in the future, as well as if I'm going to be sort of starting my own company in the future, um, uh, these these videos, these these lessons, these tutorials will be an invaluable resource in order to get everyone up to the same speed. Um, so that was sort of the rationale behind these videos. Um, so let me talk a little bit about what the videos uh, have been so far. Um, so we've had two types of videos, uh, roughly speaking. Uh, one type of video has been focused on Meteor. Um, it's been a little bit tutorial based. Um, and the other type of video, uh, I'm going to talk about these in, in just a second. These are, these are what I call catechism based. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, the tutorial based ones are, um, I, I've had a lot of experience, I've, I've put a lot of thought into um, you know, how I would like to be uh, taught this material um, uh, in sort of a very coherent from the ground up way. So you start from zero, go to hero. Um, so so that's, that's, the, that's the first type of video. These, these have mainly been the meteor type videos that I've done. The second type of video that, that I've been exploring, uh, that I've been doing a lot of recently, have been sort of catechism-based videos. Um, so there, there are tools that I use every day. You know, these, these tools are uh, Seaborn uh, for visualizations, uh, Scikit-Learn, and Keras uh, for doing the machine learning that I need to do, and then um, uh, Patsy uh, as well as um, uh, stats models in, in order to do some of the regression analysis. Um, I use these every day. Uh, I expect the people that I, that I work with and that I hire to, to uh, know these tools sort of inside and out. That being said, <laughs> understanding these tools holistically is kind of hard. So I've made these tutorials that are principally based around these tools. Uh, they don't really stray too much outside them. They don't really um, uh, go in, in too much detail in terms of the, you know, how, they're, how they're made and the innards of them. Um, and so these tools, I, I sort of uh, I expect other people to use them, and this is, this is why I've made these videos. And the videos, to me, are, are what, I, what I, I call them catechisms. Uh, they're, they're sort of like little chunks of, of, of discrete pieces of information. If you're interested in learning how to do 
and specifically a recursive feature elimination in scikit-learn. Um, you know, you'll, you might YouTube search this or Google search this and, and one of my videos might pop up and this might help you. Um, and so I've, I've done this quite frequently in terms of trying to implement deep learning models and, and try to do specific types of hypothesis testings. I, I've, I've searched these things. The tutorials out there are kind of uh, sparse. Um, uh, and, so, and so that's kind of how I've made my sort of piece with this. Now, some pros and cons. Uh, the pros of this sort of approach means that um, you know you're going to know these tools really well, um, right? There's there's specific videos, specific lectures on on each really aspect of these tools, and if you know when to use these tools, or you know what you're looking for, um, and and you don't know how to use this tool to do what you're looking for, it can be really excellent in order to do this. Uh, in addition, this space is completely no one's covered this space before. Um, this is not sort of an intro video. It's not an advanced video per se. It's not like research or cutting edge or anything. It's like a very much so intermediate practitioner's video. It's someone that knows what they're doing, um, finds these types of things useful from time to time. Um, I've made them a little bit series-esque, so you can watch them in sequence. Um, that being said, you can also just refer to them as, as you would a catechism or a dictionary. You just sort of look something up and, and go into the, oh, let's, let's check out blah, blah, blah. Um, so that's what I've done in the past. Um, okay, so so that's great, and it, and it's and it's worked. Um, I, I think I've, I've been using it uh, specifically in my data science course, and you guys have hopefully liked the videos. Please let me know uh, if if I can if I can do better in these sorts of ways. I've explained the tools that are most important for me. Um, and so currently, I'm, I'm doing a couple of things. So that's the past. You know, currently I'm doing a couple of things. There's there's two things that I'm sort of currently right in the middle of. Uh, so one, uh, you know, I've partnered with a with a YouTube editor, um, and we, we might have her sort of just do a do a brief intro uh, at some point as well. She's awesome. Um, we're we're hopefully going to be working together in order to uh, to introduce and to do two more things, which is make better quality content, visually speaking. Um, <laughs> which, yeah, uh, to make better content, visually speaking, as well as make more comprehensible content. Um, so to bring it down from sort of intermediate level into just sort of like really fundamental basic level. Um, the second thing that I've been doing is I've been doing a couple more catechisms. Um, so the two catechisms that I've been specifically working on should hopefully be like a favorite by, by you guys um, and girls. So these two are uh, Scikit-Learn uh, and Keras. Uh, so if you guys don't know what they are, I just, I just, I'm recently releasing the Scikit-Learn one. You should definitely do that. Um, and uh, Keras is for deep learning. We'll, we'll go into that a little bit later. Uh, the final thing that I'm doing is I'm probably going to be starting a, a Twitter channel just for announcements. Um, uh, it's, I'm not going to be posting my opinions there or anything like that. You probably don't want to hear them. Um, but I, I do host classes, tutorials, um, data science types of events uh, in San Francisco. Uh, and some of you might be in San Francisco and you might be interested in hearing about them. Or otherwise, you, you can just sort of tune in there to, to know when the next videos are released and stuff like that. So you'll, you'll see the link uh, down below and I will slowly start picking that up. Okay, so that's, that's the, the current vision of what is happening. And then the future vision of what is happening, um, you know, and this, this is really in part uh, due to you know, speaking with my new YouTube editor and, 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 and some other people, um, I'm gonna be doing some uh, and I'm not going to call them basic videos or introductory videos, um, even though they are basic and even though they are introductory, but I'm going to call them foundational videos. Um, so I'm going to be doing some foundational videos. So these foundational videos, uh, there's two that I have in mind. One I'm already you know, partway through, about 20% through. Um, and these are uh, introduction to data science and, and a history of deep learning. Uh, these, these are kind of the two uh, foundational videos. Um, uh, the introduction to data, and I guess, why? Why am I doing that? You know, there's enough introduction videos out there already. Okay, so one, there's not. Um, uh, there's really quite few uh, uh, introduction to data science uh, YouTube series out there. Um, uh, there's none that I think are good uh, at all. Whereas I think there are plenty of introduction to Python videos out there that are excellent. Okay, so I'm never going to do those. Uh, I guess never say never, but I'm probably never going to do those. Um, so, so yeah, so, uh, so that's one reason there's not a lot of them. And then the second reason is, um, 
I, I have a very particular take on, on, on what I'm what I'm doing on, on data science and deep learning. Um, I have very particular intuitions behind them um, that I thought a lot about and I, I think are worth sharing. Um, and I do think uh, later on when, when I'm going to be working with other people, um, it might be useful to, um, to to share these intuitions sort of uh, very forthwith. Um, so um, so this is kind of like the second reason, uh, somewhat somewhat of a personal reason. So I will be doing more introduction uh, videos that hopefully you all will like perhaps even a lot more. Um, they will tie together, the, the introduction to data science will tie together all the videos from uh, from Patsy, from uh, Seaborn, from uh, stats models, and from scikit-learn. Uh, and they'll tie them all together with a nice bow on top, and you should feel extremely satisfied once you're done with that. The um, deep learning history one will we'll tie together scikit-learn and Keras and TensorFlow all together with sort of a nice bow on top. Um, so you'll be able to uh, not only understand the tools, but the, the sort of foundations that have led me to, to the beliefs and the practices that I do. So, so those, are, those are sort of my um, past, present, um, and future thoughts. Um, I, I will say there's, there's one last category. This is maybe the tentative future, alternate reality, alt future, um, uh, you might call it. And these are some ideas that I've been throwing around that I'm certainly not set on. I have been throwing around doing another catechism type video on G Cloud. Uh, so on, on specifically um, Google Cloud Machine Learning beta, hopefully, hopefully more than beta. Um, uh, I've been considering doing that. So if, if you if you are interested in that sort of a video, there are no good videos out. There's no good in, uh, introductory materials out there. It's an, it's pretty bad. Um, so if you're interested in seeing that sort of thing, please comment below just to, just to let me know. Um, and I'm also very interested in doing, um, I'm not sure what to call it yet, but I, either probability paradoxes is one way to call it or anti-logic. Is, is another way to call it. Um, and there's, I, I might just do another video on this entirely just to sort of elaborate what I mean by this. Um, uh, but sort of very simply, um, there, there are uh, cognitive, so if you've read something like Kahneman's Thinking Fast and Thinking Slow, um, there are cognitive biases that, that everyone has um, that uh, you know, can be you know, quote unquote exploited. So you need, to, you need to learn what these biases are and sort of protect yourself, especially when you're listening to data. Um, as, as a data scientist, you need to be always on guard, you know, for, for sort of flaws in, in, in data. Um, so, so I'm not sure whether, and, and of course, there's plenty of probability paradoxes. Um, uh, so, so like law of small numbers or um, uh, Simpson's paradox or, um, you know, the Monty Hall problem, you know, tons of those sorts of things. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be doing that as sort of like alt future. We'll see. Um, okay. So again, I just want to thank you guys. If, if you got through all of this, I'm very surprised, but thank you. Um, we hit 100 subscribers. You know, uh, I'm not sure when the next one of these sort of updates will be, probably in around a year or something like that. Um, but please do let me know if you have any questions as to, you know, like, Nate, that's, that's kind of like really interesting, but I, I have no idea what you said. Could you please elaborate more on that? Or like, oh, I like the probability paradoxes idea but here I think you should do it in X, Y, Z way. Or like your, uh, your previous videos were, were so great, just keep doing them just like that. Um, so just let me know your thoughts on, on, uh, on what I said, what, uh, what appeals to you, what do you think I should do, um, what do you think I should not do. Um, and once again, thank you so much uh, for the help and, and the... Even if you're not intentionally trying to give me help, just looking to looking at the way that you're doing data science on the, on your views has been helpful. Um, so so thank you. Keep watching, um, and this is the uh, first of hopefully many updates to come. Okay, uh, always a pleasure. <laughs>